So once we play and we come over here to our death box, when we step on it, we die. And as I pull away, you can clearly see we are still in animation. Like I said, that's because we have not set our health animation. And we will not be doing that in this video. I will show you how to do that in a different video for a ragdoll, but the same concepts apply. And then what we're going to want to do is just simply press 5 and we respawn. What is up, you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to set up a spectating option when a player dies. So let's get started. The very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click and go up to blueprint class. When you do that, open it up and do the drop down menu for all classes. In here, you're going to have a search bar option and just type in spectate or pawn. So as you can see here, we're making the pawn and it's going to be a spec uh, spectator pawn, which is going to make it really easy for us because it's already kind of built in. And we're just going to name this uh, Spectator. And once that is done, um, we are going to open this up. But we're not quite done with the first part that we need to do. So let's go back to our main menu here. So now what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to make sure that we're actually dealing damage to our character. So we can test this out. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click and do Blueprint Class. Do an actor and this will be named uh, damage box and within here you're going to want to open it up and then add a component which will be our collision box and so basically what's going to happen is when our character walks into this collision box the damage will be activated and so just scroll down here on the right hand side to where you see on component begin overlap you select it so you can get into our event graph menu. So now what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to drag out and cast to third person character or whatever character you're specifically using for your blueprint. And then for other actor, uh, that is going to be our object. Now from there, just drag out and do apply damage, which is its own specific node. And as the third person character, just drag this out as the damaged actor. And there we go. And one thing we do want to do though, is we're going to want to set our base damage uh, to 25 for the testing of this video and then just compile and save. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go back within our blueprints. We're going to want to open our third person character blueprint or whatever the character BP is that you are using right click and type event any damage and so basically what's happening is this is what is going to be activating our health sequence and so from here uh, just make a variable now and we're going to name this our health and so H -E -A health. and make sure that this is a float and when you compile this, you will have the value for our health. And because we have 25 damage on the other one, we want this to be for a test. We're going to set this to 25 so it instantly kills our character. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to get our health. And we are going to drag out from here and do uh, subtract. A float subtracted by and the amount is actually going to be our damage in this instance and now what we're going to do is we're going to set our new health which is basically what's going to be happening so when our character takes damage with a 25 our new health is going to be set to zero or whatever we subtracted for our float here and just hit compile and save so now we're going to get into the fun part of actually doing the spectation process of this so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag out and do a oh, wrong one, drag out and do a equal equal flow. And from there, we are also going to want to drag out and do a branch and then now simply connect our uh, Boolean connections here for our condition. All right. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to drag out from the true and we are going to want to do on actor from class and the specific class is going to be our spectator class spectator pawn right here that we have created previously 
Now make sure that in this drop down menu when you do spectator, spectator, there are going to be two options. Select the one that you created, which is going to be our spectator here. And uh, what happens is the other one is a previous spectator, but it's not going to have the coding and the uh, blueprint um, sequence that we are going to be having in the one that we specifically created. So double make sure that you have the correct one there. So next from our spawn transform, we are going to want to drag down and do get actor transform. Now what we are going to want to do is right click and do get player controller. And then from our return value, we are going to want to drag out and do a uh, possess node as seen here. Now just simply drag this up and connect the two as well as the return value for our end pawn. So now just simply compile and save and go back to our spectator BP here and go to our event graph. So now what you're going to want to do is just simply delete all of these like that and create a new variable, which this is going to be our original player. And from there, like that's what um, the camera and like that player is going to be before they pass away and come up here and for the variable type just make sure that you put it as a character object reference character as seen there so now what you're going to want to do is just compile and save and go back to your third person character from the return value just drag this out and do set original player and then we will just bring this in like that. And as for the original player, we are just gonna do a reference to ourself because that is the original character that is being played before they die and spectate. So now what we can do is if we go back after we compiled and saved here, we can go back and we can just t do a quick test here to see what this is looking like. So let's just drag this and make this a little bit bigger for our character to walk on. Now, if we play, and we walk over this, we die. And as you can see, I can move the camera around and spectate. Now, of course, this animation is still in place, and that's because we don't have a death sequence set up yet. Uh, but yes, this is clearly working, and let's keep finishing this up. So now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna actually want to respawn back as our character. So just go to your spectate, and uh, do keyboard and then select the key that you want to respawn. In this case, let's do five because five is awesome. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to get player controller and then from here, just drag out and do a possess node, much like we did previously, and then just drag that in. So when this button is pressed, it's going to be possessing the previous character. What we're going to do is we are going to make reference to our original player, as seen here. All right, so now that that's all done, just compile and save. And we're going to want to go back to our third person character. And then from here, do a possessed event. And then what's basically is happening is when we go back to our character, uh, this is what is going to be like returning to so bring our health in and we're going to want to simply just reset Our health back to the original health that we had so now that's done Just compile and save and we are ready for our final demo so Once we play and we come over here to our death box when we step on it we die and as I pull away, you can clearly see we are still in animation. Like I said, that's because we have not set our health animation. And we will not be doing that in this video. I will show you how to do that in a different video for a ragdoll, but the same concepts apply. And then what we're gonna wanna do is just simply press five and we respawn as our character again with the original 25 health. So when we die, we go back and press five, we are back.